today's training is all about the blowout service. When it comes to a blow dry service or just a blowout in general, this is usually a woman's favorite part of the entire service. Some women enjoy this service more than they enjoy, say, like a massage or a facial. So you wanna make sure you have all the tools that you need um, prepped and ready to go. We also wanna make sure that we are keeping our client properly so she does not get wet during the service. So we always put a towel underneath the cape and make sure that everything is secure and tight. When we cape our clients, we always make sure to secure the cape in two areas so the back of the cape does not stay open and so it keeps everything nice and tight and from sliding down. Now we are going to start with a very um, good shampoo and this should be a luxury shampoo which includes a scalp massage and also a treatment. Whenever we do our blowout service, we always start with a clarifying shampoo and we make sure to shampoo the client twice to ensure that the scalp and the hair is very clean. And then we follow up with a very moisturizing or nourishing conditioner. We want to apply our products and make sure that we comb them through to evenly distribute all the products into the hair. Our favorite products, are going to vary from others and the products you use are going to vary from hair type to hair type. Every client is going to want and need something different. We always want to make sure that we are using products that will prolong the life of their blowout. So we try to stay away from any oily products or oil based products. making sure we evenly distribute all the products into the hair. We always layer the products as well. And then we always comb them through. Now please remember that during this service, it should be very enjoyable. So we wanna make sure that we have a soft touch. The client stays comfortable at all times. Sometimes I will even massage the product into the client's scalp in order to add a more luxurious feel to the service. We always wanna shake dry the client's hair and this will take out about 25% of the moisture. Depending on the client and depending on the client's hair texture, you may rough dry a client more than another because of their hair texture. If the client has a more curly, coarser texture, you're gonna to wanna to leave the moisture in there. We always section the client's hair off. Um, sectioning, sectioning the client's hair off prior to starting is going to give you a nice clean section. It's gonna keep you on track and it's going to make your job so much easier because you know where to focus your attention. We always start by sectioning off the top portion. This is gonna be the first area you blow dry. We always like to use a silver flat bill or duck bill clip. When you're using this, especially when we're clipping up our sections, it ensures that there is no dents left in the hair. Making sure that we're really combing out each section so when you take the section down, it will be very easy to brush and blow out. As we're doing this, we're always asking the client's comfort level. We wanna make sure that the client is not feeling any discomfort and you know something that could cause that could be the clips pulling on the hair or any crosshairs being pulled in a weird direction. Again, we're combing out everything, making sure that the hair is nice and not free, so that when you're going with your round brush, it is an easier process. I'm just gonna shake dry, shake dry this back section a little bit more. 
Now when we do our custom blowouts, we always start with the very, very top section. We want to make sure that we are starting with this section because we want this to have the most volume and this will give it the opportunity to be clipped in place and cool. So when you take it down, you'll have a nice bouncy blowout. We always over direct the hair forward, over directing the hair in the opposite direction again will create lots of volume. And as you see, when I am pulling my brush, I'm not just pulling the brush through the hair, I'm actually twisting my wrist in order to smooth and to flatten the cuticle of the hair. This is so important to get a nice smooth effect. So it's not just brushing the round brush through the hair, you're actually twirling the round brush through the hair to smooth down the cuticle. I'm taking horizontal sections in that top section and I'm just working my way from front to back. Again, I'm twisting the brush as I pull it through. One of the most important things to remember while you're blow drying is that if you have any drag on your brush, and that means that if the brush is not going through the hair smoothly, keep on just drying it and starting back at the base and working your way up. Um, as the hair dries, it will get rid of some of that knottiness and it'll be easier to get your brush through. Again, I am hitting this from all directions. I'm blow drying the front, I'm blow drying the back and the sides. This is going to give you so much volume. I'm really heating up the hair strand as well. Now, as you see, my nozzle is running horizontal to the client's scalp. I am not facing my nozzle down. You want to make sure that your nozzle runs horizontal with the client's scalp because then you will not burn the clients. Again, we want this to be a comfortable experience and relaxing experience. When the client you know, gets too much heat at their scalp, it can really cause some discomfort and burning. So you always want to make sure you're very aware with your nozzle. I'm almost done with my top section. Again, I'm really making sure that everything is 100% dry. I think that where stylists fall short when it comes to blow drying the hair, they do not get all of the water out of the hair. They usually get it to about 85 to 90% dry um, because sometimes when the hair feels hot, it can feel dry, but it is not. Um, that is one of the most complained about things that we get from clients is that when they are getting their blowout service, their hair wasn't dried completely. So you always want to triple check to make sure that the hair is 100% dry. And then this way it will hold the style as well. I'm really heating up my comb or my brush and my and their hair. Now I'm brushing everything forward. Everything is 100% dry and I'm going to roll and clip this out of place. Over directing the hair forward and clipping the hair in the front will give the most amount of volume because the hair will cool in place and it will be very bouncy. I always clip the hair in two spots to make sure that the hair does not fall down. Now we're gonna to proceed to our side sections doing the same thing, making sure that we are pulling the hair up, that we're hitting it from all directions. Again, if you're getting drag on your brush, just keep on drying and it'll eventually come through. We wanna make sure that we are pulling the hair up to create lots of volume. Now one thing I'm also going to say about the blowout service is that if you feel that your client's head is moving with your brush too much, 
you may be pulling too hard. We always wanna have an extremely gentle touch. Remember that your brush should do the work by twirling your wrist and actually twirling the brush. Um, you shouldn't be trying to get your smoothness from like pulling the brush through. It should be actually using your brush as a tool and twisting it as you're pulling it through the hair. So there should be no shifting or pulling of the client's head. Again, this is a relaxing experience for the guest. It is not an experience that should be rushed through or feel uncomfortable in any way. And we're warming the hair up and we're using our brush to keep it warm. And we're going to, again, roll our section creating as much over direction as possible to get the most amount of volume for the clients. We're gonna start on our other side doing the exact same thing. Again, if your brush is having issues going through, just keep on drying. It will eventually ease up on the brush. I'm taking it section by section, making sure that we are hitting all of the areas. sure that the hair is a hundred percent dry. This is our number one goal is to make sure that there is no moisture left in the hair. The reason why you want to make sure there's no, no mo moisture left in the hair is that if there's any moisture left in the hair and if the client goes outside and there's any sort of humidity or um, you know it's not a hundred percent dry it will frizz and your style will not last. Most of the time we will go in with a curling iron. So if there's any moisture left in the hair, obviously we do not want to put any hot tools on damp hair. So this is what our sectioning looks like. Everything is clipped up and out of the way, allowing everything to cool in place, giving a maximum amount of volume. We're gonna go in and we're gonna continue shake drying the back. And when we do the back, we're gonna start from the top and work our way down so we can get as much volume as possible in the crown area. Making sure that the client's head isn't being tugged or pulled and the client seems relaxed and enjoying the service. That's our number one goal. And as we do the back section, we're just going to clip that section up and out of the way when we're done. And again, we're heating up our section because we want to heat up the section and make it cool in place. After we finished blow drying, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to brush everything up, make sure it's warm from the blow dryer at this point because if your hair is too cool, it will not give you the volume and the hold and the bounce you're looking for. And we're going to roll this section and again, we're going to clip it up and out of the way. We're going to continue our blow dry service the bottom section. Now really make sure that you're paying attention to people's hairlines. A lot of women have some kinky and some um, frizzy areas right, uh, right by their neck. So we want to make sure that we get those nice and smooth. style 
tile is complete, we're gonna go ahead and hit it with some finishing spray. And we're gonna begin taking down our sections. As you can see, our sections have a great amount of um, bounce and it, they have also a little bit of movement to them, which is gonna give you those nice um, textured looking layers. Gently remove your clips. Now, again, we're gonna be feeling for any dampness at this time. If you feel any dampness, hit it with your blow dryer again. We're gonna kind of comb our sections out. Um, at this point, you can go in with your curling iron if you want and add some curls or add the style that is desired. For this client, she ju just likes a big bouncy blow dry, so we're just gonna leave it as is. But you see how she's got, got some nice flipping on her ends. She has some really, really good bounce to her hair and her hair is nice and smooth and it looks and feels great. You can at this time distribute any products that you would like. We don't like to use too many products because then the client doesn't get a long lasting wear. If you have any questions about our blowout service, please feel free to ask and we would love to answer them for you.